Land Rover launched the Discovery Sport for 2015. The brand new mid-range SUV replaced the Freelander, not just in features but also in styling. Later in the year, and towards the start of this year, the new Ingenium engine, a 2 litre turbo diesel engine fresh from the Land Rover design, was introduced. And this is the one that I'm driving here today. The new Ingenium has almost equivalent power to the previous 2.2 litre engine and it's a lot more economical. That's the real benefit. Engine horsepower is almost similar at 150 brake horsepower. And the torque is quite impressive at 380 newton meters. This makes it overall a reasonably powerful 2 litre turbo diesel engine and it's matched to the automatic gearbox. A six speed gearbox, it has very similar controls to what's on the Jaguar range. So that gearbox is quite similar in terms of functionality and ease of use. It uses a standard dial across the range to allow you to change between park, neutral and drive, etc. As you can hear, the overall smoothness of the car's performance is quite impressive. The road holding is good and the ability to accelerate is slightly better than the previous model. Overall verdict on the Discovery Sport, it's a very solid, there's a solid feel to it. There's a slight luxury feel to it, leather steering wheel, the, the overall fittings and features seem very strong and solid. But there is a hint of the luxury feel which Land Rover would like you to have. So in a sense it sort of bridges the gap between the Discovery um, and the Range Rover Evoque. It's more functional than the Evoque, it's more practical um, and it's more user friendly from my point of view in terms of the ability to go off road, travel across ploughed fields etc. This price for the Discovery uh, Sport such as this, starting somewhere in the region of €44,000. So it's quite expensive, it's at the top end. When you consider that you can buy similar but probably not with the same legendary off-road ability with similar 4x4s in the mid-sector for more than 10,000 less. So you need to be prepared uh, to spend a little bit more if you want to go with the Land Rover brand um, as you see with this, this, this particular one. What I find is on a motorway driving it's very smooth, very very smooth. You can come off the field and onto the motorway and feel utterly comfortable straight away. But on small roads such as this one, there is a good deal of vibration or feedback from the steering wheel right up into my hands, and it, and it is noticeable.